Have you ever taken a photo on iPhone only for it to look too bright and overprocessed afterward? Well, this is because Apple's using two machine learning features to fix your photos. The first is called Smart HDR, which came out in 2018 and was supposed to, quote, capture more natural looking images with beautiful highlight and shadow detail. The second machine learning feature is called Deep Fusion and came out in 2019. Its purpose was to do, quote, pixel by pixel processing of photos, optimizing for texture, details, and noise. Now those features may be useful in some cases, like if you're taking a landscape photo with a sunny sky in it, but more often than not, the machine learning algorithm just messes up a photo's texture and color, making it look overprocessed and less realistic. Here's my Pikachu, for example. The iPhone automatically sharpened its fur and increased the exposure, whereas the unedited photo looks smoother and more realistic. Here's another example. In the auto edit, blemishes like my pores and red patchy skin is more pronounced due to the increased sharpness and saturation. Most people prefer the softer, more natural look of iPhone's unedited photos. The problem is you can't turn off automatic editing, although there are a few workarounds. The first option is taking a screenshot instead of a photo, but then you have to adjust the crop before saving it to your phone, and it won't be a live photo. Second, you could take a burst photo, which wouldn't require any cropping, but would capture multiple photos at once, taking up more space on your phone unless you go in and manually delete the extra shots. Plus, you still wouldn't get live photos. Finally, my favorite method is taking a photo like you usually would, then editing the live photo afterward. By changing the key photo, you'd also remove the automatic machine learning edit, forcing the photo to revert back to its original appearance. I like this approach because it works for photos you've already taken and lets you keep taking photos like you always have, only changing the ones that turn out bad. Because like I said before, in some situations the auto editing can be helpful, but for the times you don't want it, you can easily take it away. Hopefully Apple will give us the option to turn off Deep Fusion and Smart HDR completely, but for now that's how you can avoid your photos from being ruined. This is Greg with Apple Explained, thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.